Hi guys, this is RRR Refuel Ride Race channel and let me welcome you to my first test drive. This time Peugeot 107, a little city car. Stay with me. Let me introduce you the car firstly. It is a 2010 model and it has 82 or almost 83,000 kilometers on the clock. Let's go. Urban move. So we are in Peugeot 107 and uh, I have to mention that uh, it is a nice car to drive so the steering is light, it has a servo steering system, it has ABS uh, at the front, there are discs but at the rear uh, only drums uh, this is maybe something strange for 2010 but considering the price of the car this is a cheap car it is uh, appropriate so only 3 meters and 43 centimeters long uh, it's wide it's wide it's uh, 1 meter and 63 so Let's say that it's uh, among uh, very small also in uh, this case. The gearbox, it's five speeds and uh, it feels very light. It is not among the best, it is not the most precise one, I would say. Otherwise, no complaints about the gearbox. The interior of this car, it's very simple. And as you can see, we have very classical look of the interior. So here you have the vent adjustments, four levels, and also the air conditioning system only the manual one and uh, normal radio with CD so uh, no mp3 in this car no USB nothing uh, just uh, a pretty good uh, radio system driving this car it's uh, very easy it is a small car, like I said, so you have the great view in front of you and uh, you can uh, quickly adopt to the car's dimensions. 68 horsepower at 6000 RPMs and 93 Newton meters of torque uh, that uh, come at 3600 rpm so uh, a lively three cylinder i would say the only let down inside the car it's uh, 
the level of uh, finish as we see here you have metal instead of plastic so not all the parts inside are covered with plastic the other negative uh, relates to dash where if you uh, look closely uh, you cannot find the, the water indicator okay let's go outside third relates to the height to the height from the ground so this is too low uh, on the ground mirrors are not electric and uh, this car has a central locking system so the tank capacity it's only 35 liters but uh, it is a very economical car so according to uh, my calculation it consumes only five liters maybe a little bit more if you uh, push it ergonomically it is uh, enough for someone my height so uh, the pedals are easy reachable and uh, steering it's uh, appropriate I will try to sit here it is enough space for legs but uh, if there is another person that is bigger than one meter eighty in front of you you cannot sit so comfortable anymore nothing really special in this car this is a city car so only the dash with the simple ref counter that uh, comes out of the dash here on the left side and this is a stylish touch I would say all other parts are pretty clear so turning signals uh, are easy reachable uh, radio system that works uh, here you have the controls of the ventilation and air condition so just uh, normal uh, manual air condition 12 volt socket here and this one is without the ash tree so nothing for smokers i would say the interior of the car is uh, well isolated so uh, the sound of the engine doesn't bother you let's open the trunk to see the capacity and the shape of the trunk so here you only have 130 liters of trunk so nothing very big uh, would go inside uh, so but it is a city car so uh, just something from the store here you can see that the whole window the whole back window it's going up and down so this is a kind of a stylish touch okay guys it's time to conclude 
what can we say about Peugeot 107 this is a city car uh, it is not one of the most exciting cars in the world but uh, it is a very useful machine for uh, driving in the city and uh, if I have uh, to point out three positives I would say that uh, it has a lively engine so three cylinder uh, that is not too loud, it's not too noisy, uh, it has a very good price, so the, the, this, uh, this car is not uh, too expensive uh, and uh, it is simple and economical. Uh, what about the negatives? The negatives are, like I said, the ground clearance, so it is just very low, some parts inside the car uh, feel very cheap so uh, the plastic should be uh, all through the doors not just uh, uh, on some parts uh, and the third thing no temperature water temperature indicator so you never know uh, what is going on uh, with your water inside your engine uh, and uh, very small trunk okay guys that's all this was Peugeot 107, I hope that you enjoyed, that you got some useful information about the car. This is all for now, thanks for watching and always, like always, like, share and subscribe. Till the next one.